rainy day nail session with me spring set right here i am just prepping my nails getting them ready for the pop-off method i'm using cuticle oil and i'm gonna just rub that into my nail plates right here i am just going in with my least favorite top coat and i'm applying it to my nail beds i did do it twice but i didn't do the second time on camera i would suggest to use your least favorite top coat just so you don't get oil in your favorites or the ones that you do like Right here, I'm applying nail tips. They are from Nail Prof. I enjoyed these nail tips a lot, um, but I am applying them with glue. Usually I do it with gel, but this time the tips just kept popping off every time I used gel. I am sizing my nail now. It is a large. They were long longer, but I didn't want to do them that long anymore, so I cut them a little shorter. I did use the magnets to help me line them up and cut everything qu quicker faster whatever and i am using a knot polish acrylic this one was so pretty i just wanted to add something different to the design i am recreating so i wanted to do a little ombre effect to it um so yeah right here i'm just trying to create my apex blend everything out create we'll also create my ombre super pretty the acrylic i'm using is actually two acrylics mixed together it is young nails um peaches and cream and it's also um oh i'm sorry not young nails valentino's peaches and cream and young nails um core pink uh just gave it more of a sheer look that i was looking for and here I am creating my apex because I like my apex to be seen. Blend, blend, blend. And she's beautiful. And I am just going in and covering that ombre with some core pink just because it was sheer enough to not have to use my clear acrylic. So it looks super pretty. I am putting a little, little bead on the side right there just to balance everything out, make sure everything's even. And right here, I am filing my nails. I know I did it a little weird at the beginning, just so I can see double, well, both sides. I like to switch up my angle when I file, and you guys already know, I file my nail first or file all my nails first with the regular file before I go in with the sanding fan want to make sure everything's to my liking before I just blend everything out Ugh, so dusty looking cute though Ooh, I had to redo this take so many times so I'm not even filing too much off at this point but there that ombre looks fantastic and I'm just going in with the sanding band, blending everything else out, making sure it looks gorgeous. And then I am just cleaning all the dusties off before I go in with my design. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then this is my brush. This is the design inspo picture I was going for. It was super spring, super beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, I know I was having a hard time with the little French line. Uh, you guys already know, a method for me. But I was like, okay, let's do something a little different. Just do the outlining. Practice makes perfect. I'm cleaning it up right here with some acetone just to get all of that color away and then I go back in just to make the line more bolder once I get the lines to my liking cure it and then on the next fingers well then I start going in with the flowers and the designs create my vines just make my nails springtastic and then right here, I'm just creating little petals. Oh my gosh, when I first saw this picture, I was like, how am I going to create these petals? Overthought it like I always do with every set. Uh, my, I'm my biggest worst enemy when it comes to nail designs, even if I know I can do them. But I just do like a little U and then 
I throw one little area in the middle and my flowers are coming out super cute super gorgeous like I said this look was way easier than I was making it to be in my head I am my worst critic then I go in with some top coat by Koopa and there's finished look oh so gorgeous springtastic <laughs>